Welcome to the fourth and final quarter of the Blitz. A big day for Trinity Christian School as they open their very first football field on the southeast side of town off of 146 in Quaker. Yeah, they've actually gone over 40 years without having a football field. Well, they got to play on their very own tonight and they did it in style as they get on the board first with a nice little short touchdown run to make it seven zip. More to come from Trinity. They're up 13 to nothing right then. And nice little weaving move in for a touchdown. This one to make it 19 to nothing. And goal line defense, very important. Definitely will be in the postseason. A couple stops and a couple touchdowns later. And it was Trinity Christian getting a win. Their very first one. Congrats to the Lions on their own field, 48 to 21. Some other scores from teams around our area. All Saints falls at home to Abilene Christian, 63-33. Lubbock Christian, they are still undefeated on the season, folks. 39 to nothing, they win on the road. And Kingdom Prep and Notre Dame Catholic, they play tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Some other scores from some six-man games around our area. And, of course, it was Ropes a winner over Whiteface, 66-20. to That Naz and Lorenzo game was canceled. Loop. They won a big game over Southland last night, 45 to nothing. Last buddy, it went over Cotton Center, 70 to 20. Whit Harrell wins over Amherst. It was Aspermont falling to Spur. Borden County, they continue to cruise as well, 60 to 14. Morton, that's a good win for the Indians, 22 to 20 over Meta. Just that two point win, but hey, that's a win. Motley County, no problem with Patton Springs, 54. To six and Jayton, they're number one for a reason, folks. 53 to nothing over rule.